Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? It's actually funny that you say that, because in point of fact, I'm a little tall to be a stormtrooper. Yeah, whatever. Let's shoot this pig. Not so fast, Heineman. I know, with the stormtrooper costume and all, it looks like we're ready to dive whole hog into the Star Wars universe. But wait! Hold your horses, because there's a whole bunch of setup to tell you about before we even get to this point. Now, we ran into a unique problem when we were planning out for this episode, which is that all of the Death Stars in California are being hired, and we couldn't use any of them. So, second best was to come here to this beautiful previous century supply warehouse on Mare Island up in Northern California. This is one of our favorite locations, and we've shot a few great stories here. Whoa, dead. Oh. It's kind of like Death Star 1860, don't you think? It's beautiful. And when it comes to the spectacular special guest starring grand finale, it has the height required for the stomach churning leap for freedom. They're coming. We gotta get out of here. But first, what's the experimental plan of action? Now, in examining Luke's swing across the chasm, Jamie and I have broken it down into three distinct elements, each of which that needs testing. Number one is the behavior of the grappling hook. Second would be his belt. Would that be sufficient to support him while swinging on a line? And third is the addition of Princess Leia. Luke doesn't swing alone across the chasm. He's got a passenger. Since this first test involves a grappling hook, I'm going to have to make one. And it's going to have to be identical to what Luke used in the movie. And there we go. Sweet. What are we throwing it over? Ah, we got a nice target right from the Death Star for you, right up there. Wow, that's quite a ways away. That thing is about 30, 35 feet away, and I gotta tell you, that's quite a shot to do in one go. Can I use the force, or do you want me to do this manually? <laughs> Whatever works for you. <laughs> okay. I have no idea where this is gonna go. Oh, oh! Catch it? Thanks. Clearly, it's not as simple as the young Skywalker would have us believe. Oh! The height was about sufficient. <laughs> From the same distance and angle as in the movie... Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, so now it's up there. <laughs> Jamie's struggling to get close. Oh! Heading everywhere but the mats. <laughs> It's clear he needs a whole Yoda practice. So close. Now, Luke is clearly the quintessential action hero and only needing one chance, one try to get the grappling hook over the correct target. Not quite. In reality, at this point, if Jamie was Luke, Luke and Leo would be clapped in iron somewhere in a trash disposal, somewhere in the depths of the Death Star, and the movie's over. But it can't end there. He's got to eventually get it. OK, man, this one's for the princess. He finally made the throw. But will it grapple and catch like in the movie? That's a hook. Give me a high five. He got it. He got it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I think you get full marks for not using the force, because it's clear that you weren't. <laughs> well, can a waist belt really support you and your twin without serious injury? Yeah, a little bit more this way. To find out Adam and the walking carpet. <laughs> Go to work matching the exact layout from the silver screen scene. But when he gets a look at the 30-foot wide chasm, our stand-in Skywalker's worried. So you want me to swing from here to there just using that? I don't think so. This is more like it. Baby steps first. Jamie's concern supporting the weight at his waist will lead to serious injury. So, with crash pads and a shorter swing distance closer to the ground, he can be lowered immediately if there's any danger. Normally, if you knew that you were going to take a fall or swing on a rope, you'd wear a harness that went between the legs. You want to hop up? OK. If I jumped off of a, a height on a rope on this thing, I'd be worried about breaking some ribs. Let's pick it up. I guess we're going to have to try it to find out. Jamie. Yeah. Oh, that's not. 
is clearly uncomfortable with the belt bruising his ribs. Princess delivery, here you go. And with the added weight of a twin, will he even make it? So she just turn, turn around, around, I think. Oh, oh. oh God. Remember, stormtroopers are shooting at you. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. You ready, girl? Ah! Oh. Oh. How you, how you doing, sport? I'm all right, but man, that hurts. Over the short distance, it was agony. Over the full 30 feet, it would be excruciating. But it can be done. So when it comes to the belt, I have to admit, it might be a plausible way to survive a 30-foot chasm swing. But it ain't a safe way, i.e. injury-free way, especially when one is holding on to precious cargo like a princess. With two marginally plausible calls, this myth is barely hanging on. We're going to need a different solution for the real swing. Can part three, the full swing with a real twin, rescue the result from the Darth Maul of defeat? To find out, it's safety first. For this third and final test, I'm going to be swinging from 30 feet away over there to here. Of course, this time around, I'm going to be wearing a proper safety harness, which hopefully won't hurt me. And we put safety mats down in case something goes horribly wrong. Hopefully not. Now that is a harness. The belt, already proven to work in a pinch, literally, has been put aside in favor of a harness that will allow not so Jedi Jamie to complete the final test pain-free. Addy, sir. All Adam and Jamie are missing is a real-life Leia look-alike. Dear Adam and Jamie, one of the things I love the most in the world is Mythbusters. It would be my dream come true if I could help you guys bust a Star Wars myth. Love, Sophia. What was that? Uh, that was our uh, awkward transition to introduce our actress, Sophia Bush. Q, star of NBC Chicago PD and massive Mythbusters fan, Sophia Bush. Hello, gentlemen. Jamie, can I be your Princess Leia? Oh, shucks. <laughs> now, Jamie, I do want to point out that Sophia came to play dressed the part and everything. Don't you think you might want to put on something a little more appropriate? Fine. <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> OK, well, uh, <laughs> let's get started. Both arms are on like, like that. And so it comes down to this. Well, How are you holding the rope? I'm holding it with this hand. With the first two pieces of the puzzle already proven plausible, <laughs> Uh, gotta come down. Coming in. <laughs> Jamie's expertly strapped in for the third and final test, the twin toe. Stormtroopers ready. All right, Luke and Leia, it's up to you. Get into character, make this happen. On your mark. They're coming. We got to get out of here. You totally did it. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. <laughs> Fight the Empire! After all of this breakdown and all of this planning, that could not have gone better. Very satisfying. Every bit as much fun as you'd think. You totally made it! <laughs> well done! That was Good awesome. job. <laughs> it's so fun! Can we do it again? Fight me, Empire! <laughs> Well, we pretty much nailed that, but I gotta say, 
most of the stuff we're testing here has been pretty borderline. If it's a life and death situation, sure, you can throw a grappling hook, but are you gonna be able to get it in one go? And yes, you can swing on a cable, but tying it onto your belt and carrying another person, life and death situation, sure, but it's all pretty dodgy, really. All right, dudes, we don't have much time because the Empire is coming. How do you want to call this one? Sophia. I mean, we made it across, so I say plausible. Jamie. Well, you know, it's clearly possible, but uh, that makes me want to say it's confirmed. It... OK, we got it. Plausible. Stop that rebel. Stop.